Today I want to talk a little bit more about Mark 13. It's an excellent chapter and it really is a little bit different than Matthew 24. They both give the same outline of events. They both say that the rapture comes after the tribulation and so on and so forth. But there are different things that we can learn from both of these chapters. So it's really interesting to compare them and look at the differences. What I want to show you today is a major difference in Mark 13 verse 18. The Bible reads in Mark 13, 18, And pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, period. Now what's interesting about that statement is that in Matthew 24, the Bible says, Pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, nor on the Sabbath day. Now, a lot of people have pointed to that verse where he says to pray that your flight's not on the winter or on the Sabbath day to say, well, Matthew 24 is just only talking to the Jews because he's bringing up the Sabbath day. That shows he's talking to the Jews. Well, a lot of uh, people have said, well, the book of Matthew seems to be geared toward the Jews and the, the book of Mark seems to be geared toward the Romans and the book of Luke seems to be geared toward the Greeks and the book of John seems to be geared toward the world. And uh, believe it or not, the book of Ephesians was geared toward the Ephesians and the book of Galatians was geared toward the Galatians and the book of Titus, guess who it was geared toward? Titus. But that doesn't mean that he's not speaking to all believers. But putting that aside, if mentioning the Sabbath day shows, well, this is talking to the Jews or this is talking to Israel, well, okay, it's included in Matthew 24, which is a book that's sort of geared toward the Hebrews. But why is it just explicitly left out here in Mark 13? Why did God purposely decide to leave out that phrase in Mark 13? Well, maybe the answer is found at the end of the chapter in Mark 13, 37, when the Bible says, And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. So it really falls apart when the preacher rapture crowd says, well, the mention of the Sabbath day in Matthew 24 proves that he's only talking to the Jews, when in Mark 13, he leaves out the phrase neither on the Sabbath day. And not only that, he says the same thing in verse 24. But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son, the son of man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. So you've got a post-trib rapture in Matthew 24 and in Mark 13, in Matthew 24, gearing it to the Jews, quote unquote, he mentions the Sabbath, if that's, if that's how you want to interpret that. But in Mark 13, he specifically leaves that phrase out. So that is a weak argument to say it's talking only to the Jews. In Mark 13, he said, I'm speaking to all.